Okay, thank you very much. For almost six decades, NASA's work has inspired millions and millions of Americans to imagine distant worlds and a better future right here on Earth. I'm delighted to sign this bill. It's been a long time since a bill like this has been signed, reaffirming our national commitment to the core mission of NASA, human space exploration, space science, and technology. With this legislation, we support NASA's scientists, engineers, astronauts, and their pursuit of discovery. We support jobs. It's about jobs, also. This bill calls for ongoing medical monitoring and treatment of our heroic astronauts for health conditions that result from their service. It's a pretty tough Dad, I don't know, Ted, would you like to do it? I don't think I would. <laughs> Marco, do you want to do it? Marco, I'm not sure we want to do it. You could send Congress to space. <laughs> this bill will make sure that NASA's most important and effective programs are sustained. In orders NASA to continue, and it does, it orders just that, to continue transitioning activities to the commercial sector, where we have seen great progress. It's amazing what's going on. So many people and so many companies are so into exactly what NASA stands for. So the commercial and the private sector will get to use these facilities. And I hope they're going to be paying us a lot of money. I think they're going to make great progress. It continues support for the commercial crew program, which will carry American astronauts into space from American soil once again. Been a long time. It supports NASA's deep space exploration, including the Space Launch System and the Orion spacecraft. It advances space science by maintaining a balanced set of mission and activities to explore our solar system and the entire universe. And it ensures that through NASA's astronauts and aeronautics, research the United States will remain a total leader in aviation. Now, uh, these astronauts are amazing. Uh, I've met some of them. They are very brave people, and they're right at the forefront, so we salute them with this legislation. And we salute the ones that have lost their lives doing what they love to do. America's space program has been a blessing to our people and to the entire world. Almost half a century ago, our brave astronauts first planted the American flag on the moon. It was a big moment in our history. Now, this nation is ready to be the first in space once again. Today, we're taking the initial steps toward a bold and bright new future for American space flight. I am honored to sign this new bill. The folks behind me have been so involved in it. They love NASA. They love everything it stands for, and they love the people in their areas. You have a couple of areas that are going to be very benefit, very much benefited by this. So I just want to thank all of the people standing behind me. They've done a great service for the country and to their communities. A lot of jobs, and these are great jobs. So thank you very much, and we'll send this.
Well, this is terrific. The first time in seven years we've had a NASA authorization bill. Thank you, Mr. President, for signing it. This means a great deal to the, to the nation's space exploration. It means a great deal to the state of Texas, and it continues America's leadership in space. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you, It puts us on the dual track. We have the commercial companies going to and from the International Space Station, and we have NASA going out and exploring the heavens, and we're going to Mars. Just as, uh, Mr. President, if I may, yes. just as Americans remember that President Eisenhower was the father of the interstate highway system, with your bill signing today and your vision and leadership, future generations will remember that President Donald Trump was the father of the interplanetary highway system. Well, that sounds exciting. <laughs> First, we want to fix our highways. We want to fix our